Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com. Today looking at Start Menu 8. We're in the 5 version. You know, versions go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's been a few years since we looked at it, so we thought we'd take a fresh look. And after you've installed it, this will be your start screen. Now the reason for this is, and you can change your mind later, do you want to stick with a Windows 10 look and tweak it, or do you want to go to the old style and tweak it? So we'll show you how to change your mind later. But right now, let's start with a flat style because a lot of people are looking to go back to a little bit more of a Windows 7 look. And just go ahead and click on OK. Now we want to start the program up right here. And now we can go into all sorts of settings. I'm going to start at the top even though it does start common sense with style you can change your start button icon so if you like the old classic button right here you just click that and hit apply and watch the bottom left corner here there you go and you could change that to the windows 8 if you like that that's kind of a neat looking one and there's a whole bunch of other stuff in here you can play around with i don't know if you're in the mood for a smiley face but hey anything's possible might be fun to mess with people too that's worth a mention right so let's uh, go back to the classic and once that's done, we can come down here to style. Now, once again, as I mentioned when we started the video, this is where you can switch back to the Windows 10 style under the style settings here. So if you change your mind from flat, you can hit Windows 10 style. Just watch right here in the thumbnail and you'll see how it's going to look before you click apply. Flat style. Or we're going to go to classic Windows 7 style, which is what we're going to play with here. And that allows us to get the transparency here. See how it's moving? So you can see this here how it looks and now I'm gonna hit apply and you can see the transparency now where you can kind of see through it a little bit so we're gonna leave it like that for the time being and move forward general it's pretty simple stuff run with Windows startup so that it works for you every time skip the user account warnings that's when you user account control that's when you hit start and it says you sure you want to run the program it skips that so start menu 8's got some pretty neat little features that are kind of like nice little tweaks to the interface as well when to update the product how many how many programs to display that's over here and the number of recent items to display when applicable highlight newly installed programs large icons for start menu so let's try small hit apply there you go see how small that got now you can fit a lot more on here let me switch it back again so you can see that there you go frequently used programs how you can sort them screenshots don't show frequently used programs at all deactivate hot keys when full screens working etc so it's quite a bit you can play with in here and the nice thing is you could change your setting as you've seen me do by changing the setting and then hitting apply and then changing the setting back if you're not happy now the menu is another neat one so what you can do here let's use administrative tools you can work your way down here later PC settings etc some are only show as a link or don't show but some of them you can actually show as a menu so let's show it as a link first and we can show you that start click apply start there it is administrative tools now what they mean by showing as a menu is it's going to show you all the administrative tools built in watch this start and now you can see it's expandable and there are all your administrative tools so there's quite a bit you can do to each individual person's preferences to make it work the way you want here's your user interface whether you want to change and use a custom picture you can browse to it here don't show a picture at all use the Windows account picture and some other basic stuff but I mean your font sizes so font size and start menu is small let's do large hit apply you can see it changed there already and there's your larger font great for people who have vision problems switch it back you can see quite the difference in readability background colors program changes with the system change the color to background it's just neat neat stuff so let's go to advanced a little bit once again these are a few more little tweaks you can use disabling the taskbar transparency windows key to open the windows 10 start menu left click to open the menu etc etc so let's go back here real quick and apply the windows 10 style again so that brings us back to here and once again, similarly, did I just say similarly? Similar, oh, Mondays. Similarly, Whew, wow. Somebody's over there laughing at me going, I can say it. So once again, as you can see, you can change pretty much the same stuff you saw before. And in the general, it just remains the same. You can just tweak what you want to see and when you want to see it exactly the same way as we did with the flat style. So administrative tools shows a menu. You know, it's just pretty much what you just saw. So 
basically play around in that and you'll find that everything you need can be changed around but really it's big power in my opinion is getting back to the more classic style and really customizing the way things work so for me personally I happen to prefer the classic Windows XP style and as you saw I did a lot with it so there you go so just take your time start at the top work your way through and just apply whatever needs for you, whatever you think it works for you and so on and so forth until you get it exactly the way you want you could spend a good amount of time in here but you could also just rush around and change a few things that you see like that you know the um, aforementioned font sizes colors and by the time you get done you could finally have a start menu the way you want it there you go so uh, download link is always will be provided in the description below give it a shot see what you think leave a comment we'd love to hear from you click like click subscribe to the channel Always appreciated. And as always, we thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.